Ready? Okay. It's going. Um, just make sure that all of the mats are combed out. And I just use a slicker brush for that as well. And then what I do, you might want to come a little bit this way so you can see the side as well. I flip the ear up, and Dazzle's already been trimmed. You can see your dog will probably have a big wad of hair growing right here. But I flip the ear up like this, and all of this gets shaved off. And this is about probably a 30 blade. It's one of those adjustable blade cheapy ones, so I'm not sure. But you just go down, and she's got a mat here, so I'm just going to shave it out. There we go. Go down underneath, kind of blend the face a little bit. And then all of that hair is gone, so you've got good airflow. And if, he, if your dog has pretty fuzzy hair under here, go ahead and trim that as well. You're not cooperating, Dazzle. We're going to go straight down, kind of where the fur grows and meets and forms a little ridge, and follow that down and blend it a little bit so it's not quite so obvious. Go down. Shave the front and follow down. There's a point right here, the prosternum, where the bone sticks out, and I'm aiming for that point right above it, going down in a V. And that way they still have a little bit of feathering on the chest, and it just looks nice. What I'm trying to do is get some good airflow under the ears because there's a lot of veins on the underside of the ear so it helps them cool off. So we want good airflow under the ears. And then down the neck you've got lots of veins and arteries there. And having those not covered by hair helps them stay a little cooler. Good girl. If they're really hairy and you want to go back behind the ear, just pull the ear forward like this and go back just a little bit and kind of blend that in. And again, that's just giving you airflow around the ears where there's a lot of blood vessels at the surface. And that's all the shaping I do unless I've got a really hairy dog and the insides of their thighs are real hairy. I'll shave there. The rest, I use the coat king and I pull all the hair out of the pants and I use the furminator. And then on the tail, if you want to come around here, Wayne. I'm trying to see which side I need to be on. <clears throat> Sorry about that, Don. On the tail, it looks sharp and kind of cool. If you just take a little bit off right here, That way you've got a more obvious flag on the tail. It also keeps things cleaner back there. Sometimes I'll trim this up just to neaten it up with scissors, but something else that you will want to do is trim the feet. And this will help keep getting stuff inside all the, like, cocklebirds and stuff. So just comb backwards. And you'll see she's got all of this hair growing out between her toes that you hadn't noticed. Just take a pair of scissors and you're going to lay them flat like this and just cut. And if you do it that way, it won't look obvious that you've chopped all their toe hair off. It'll look natural. 
and that neatens up the foot. And then underneath, if they've got really hairy feet underneath, keep your scissors flat and just cut all of this in between the pads. And that'll prevent them from picking up so many burrs in their feet. And that's it. That's all the shaving. That's all the grooming that your dog should need. Um, don't shave anything else other than here and maybe under here. And whatever you do with Callahan, he probably has a little bit of hair hanging off the end of his pee-pee. Don't cut it. It acts as a wick and makes things point down. And if you cut it, he's going to pee all over his front legs. So that's it. You can probably get most of the equipment at Jeffers Pet or at um, Pet Edge. Uh, get scissors. Double Duck is a good brand and run you maybe 25, 30 bucks for what you need. It's fine. People scissors don't have enough um, thickness of the blade and they get kind of, I don't know, almost like flexible when you're trying to cut dog hair. So go ahead and get dog scissors, but don't get expensive ones. That's all I can think of. Can you think of anything I missed, Wayne? No. All right. Well, we have a half-groomed dog. But this is before, or this is after, and yeah, come over here and look at before wing because it is significantly hairier just from those couple of strokes I did. I think it looks different, don't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's it. That's how to groom your English setter, and don't show this to any show people. Bye. Good girl, Dazzle.